there. I am going to talk to you today about follow-up. I'm sure you've heard by now, if you've been in the company even a week and you've been doing some trainings, you have heard the word or the phrase, the fortune is in the follow-up. Now, why is the fortune in the follow-up? Well, several reasons. One is because sometimes it takes six to eight times to follow up with somebody for them to do what they initially said they wanted to do or for them to do what you would like them to do. So I know six to eight times sounds like, oh my gosh, really? That's gonna take forever. Well, if you think about this, it takes time to build trust, right? So sometimes we need to follow up and prove to the client or the potential host or the potential consultant that you are to be trusted and you you mean business, that you are there for them and you are gonna continue to follow up and be there for them and basically hold your end of the bargain up, right? And do your part. So sometimes it takes that long. Another reason why it sometimes takes about six to eight times is because unfortunately, buying Scentsy products aren't everybody's number one tasks in their day, right? We know it should be, <laughs> but it's not. So as much as they love their products and they know they need them, they've got a thousand other, other things to do on their list. So it's up to us to continue to follow up until we nail them down, basically. When you think about it, how many times have you meant to do something and you really wanted to do it, like make a phone call to somebody or go buy you know, some new lipstick or what, or something that you needed, some new laundry detergent, but it wasn't, you weren't completely out, out, or you weren't going to use it that day. So that got taken off the list of to do, but then you kept forgetting and for, kept forgetting, right? Well, if we as the consultant aren't constantly, constantly reminding them in a, you know, fairly systematic way, not bugging them like every day, but if we're not periodically popping in and just checking in on them, it'll be likely that they're gonna run out of their fragrances, their bars, their oils, their lotion, whatever they're, they're purchasing from you, their laundry products, and they're gonna be stuck in a bind, right? And they're gonna go, oh gosh, I need to do a load of laundry. I can't wait to order it with, through your, my consultant, so I'm just gonna go run and grab the stuff we don't really like, right? the cheap stuff, meaning cheap as not inexpensive, but cheap as in not so good and definitely not Scentsy products, right? So what's that gonna do to your sales? When you do finally call, they've already bought it, right? So it's so important for us to be consistent in our follow-up. So today I'm gonna talk about a system that one of our amazing Scentsy sisters in our Scentsy company, She's a star director and a good friend of mine. Her name is Jessica Villarreal. You may have come across her YouTube channel and she has great trainings. So I'm gonna actually share exactly what she has taught all of us and has been working for tons of us that have been following this system. It's simple, it's fast, and it's portable. So if you are as busy as I am, have 10 different things going on in a day and running different places all over the, all over the place, every day, you will be able to bring your follow-up system with you and in the car while you're waiting for your kids to be picked up from school, during your lunch break, um, watching a baseball game or karate practice, whatever that may be, you can do some follow-up. All right, so first we wanna get one of these little handy dandy, um, I think these are nine and a half by, um, nine and a half inches but it's, this, it's not the full size binder. You can get one if you want to, but this is basically the size of an order form, okay? So it's the size of an order form. All right, then we want to purchase these little inserts that have little pockets in them. They're on both sides. I got my binder and my inserts at Target. You can get them probably at Walmart or any type of a um, office supply store, but this is such a good investment because this little guy is going to help you make money. So you're gonna invest a little bit to get this system going, but once you have it going, 
you will be making money every single month. You're not going to be wondering who do I call, what do I, um, how do I make sales this month? You will know exactly who is needs to be connected with. So I just wrote on this client follow-up system or log. I put client follow-up log. So on this first flap right here, I have to deliver. So this, once I've received their products and I haven't delivered their product yet, I'll put their order forms right in here. So I know that these are, these are products that I have in, in my home and they need to go out. So then it reminds me that I have to contact them and schedule a time to deliver. Now, while we're on that really fast, I'm gonna just make a quick little plug, a suggestion is make sure you are looking into your workstation under the orders tab and go to view that order that is closed and see when that order is coming. So you can click on it on the tracking, number or it'll just say um, track your order and you'll click on it and it'll tell you when to, it'll be expected to be delivered. Do not tell your clients the day it will be delivered or they will call you and ask for you to deliver the product that day because people get so excited about Sensi. So my suggestion is if you see that it's being delivered on Friday, let's just say for example, give yourself a couple days to unpackage, check out all the product, make sure everything's good, the light bulbs aren't broken, all that fun stuff, everything's there, label it all, package it, and then plan to deliver and schedule delivery date. If if you have specific delivery days that you do during the week, like a Monday and a Wednesday, then you just make sure you connect with your people and say, um, you know, I'll, my delivery day is Wednesday and Monday and Wednesday, what day works best for you? But you don't, if Monday is your delivery day, you don't want them to tell, you don't want to tell them that you're going to be delivering on Monday. So you'll want to say, my next delivery day is Wednesday. If that's, you know, not convenient for you, my following one is Monday. Um, and then if you're willing to make a convenient, you know, an exception, you can schedule with your client, but the more consistent you are on your end, they will, they will follow that system and they'll know when that they, they need to be available to make, get their deliveries from you. Um, if you have a system of closing orders, you can tell your clients once a month or twice a month, I place my orders on this day and this day, first and second or in third week of the month or whatever, and then they will know when to connect with you if they need something before you connect with them. Okay. So then I have a to be entered uh, section right here. To enter um, right here and to process. So these are orders that I haven't entered into the workstation yet or I haven't closed them yet. These are to be done. So these are waiting and these are orders to go in. I have blank order forms here. So whenever I, you know, somebody calls me and randomly wants to place an order, I have an order form available. This is my to be received section. So these ones, um, so I just delivered, so I don't have any to be received coming in this week. Um, this is just more order forms. Um, right here, follow up now. So this one is, this is like I, somebody tells me, call me on Tuesday or whatever. I know that this is like a hot, a hot spot. This is who we need to call and make sure that it's this week and there's a specific time that I need to follow up with them. So I'll write a little sticky note or whatever that I know what day I need to contact these poor people. Um, okay, so now we're going to get in the follow-up actual system. So two days after you deliver your orders, two days, you're going to put them, put these order forms that you just delivered into this spot and it says two days. So then you know two days from the day you delivered, you, you go to the two day spot and you have these people to connect with. What are you going to say when you call them on this two days later? You're just going to call for a customer care phone call, which means how is your products? Do you love them? What's your favorite product that you purchased? Is everything working properly? Did that, did your friend like her gift? Things like that. Not you're trying to get a sale. You're just simply making sure they're loving their Scentsy 
and you're finding out what they love the most so you can take a note and make sure that you are aware that their favorite fragrance is perfectly pomegranate, whatever. And then write a little note in their profile, which you can download that profile sheet for customers in the business resources or references tab in the workstation. Okay, then I have a two week. So after the two days, I've done my follow up, I've made my notes, I am going to put them in two weeks. So then two weeks from that day, I know that I have, um, I wanna call them and just make sure they're still enjoying their products. And if there's any promotions that have come out since, you wanna let them be aware of that. And it's very likely that you may even get an order. Now, if you are giving samples, which I suggest to give to your clients when they order something, always give them a sample of something they didn't buy. So this is a good time to be able to say, hey, did you have a chance to try that laundry liquid sample that I gave you? What did you think about it? And then you may end up getting an order, possibly, but you're not calling with the intent to get an order. Uh, the next spot is your two month spot, okay? Two months. Now, this one is when you're going to be considering, sorry, um, your two, this is when you most likely should be getting your order because they're likely to be using their products and unless they ordered like three six packs, they would be in need of new Sensi. Now, these follow-ups, the second day and this two, two weeks, these are for to be reminding your clients to be using the products because if you call and they haven't even opened up their products yet, it's gonna make them go, oh gosh, I haven't even opened up that box yet. Let me go ahead and do that. Two weeks later, you'll be able to see what they actually thought if they didn't open it up yet. And then within the two month mark, you will be likely getting a new order because they've been using their products. Now, if you do not get an order, that means if what you would say, which a lot of you are probably saying, well, what do I say on this, the two month um, call back or follow up? Well, you want to say, hey, it's been a couple months. I just, I'm placing an order and I thought of you. So I wanted to see if I can refill any of your bars or oils or whatever they, they purchased. So that's why you look at their order form and you, or, hey, you know, it looks, you know, it looks like you purchased washer whiffs. Um, are, are you going to be needing a refill? That's the time for you to talk to them about the VIP program, which is like an auto ship for essential, the oils for diffusers or the laundry care excuse me, and if they do not order anything, there's usually a reason why. So what we want to do is at this point ask them, oh, I'm surprised you're not in need of some more bars by now. Um, or do you like the products? Usually they're going to tell you, well, I've been out of town. I haven't really used them. Be like, oh, okay, so it's been a while. So how many bars do you think you have left? They'll be able to let you know. You can write a note and then you could say, okay, well, I'll give you a call back in another month or so because you'll probably by then, now that you're home and you're using your Sensi, it's likely you'll need some more. Give me a call if you need anything sooner. Otherwise, I'll touch base with you in about a month. And then you can put this back to maybe like your two-week spot and put a note of the date that you need to connect with them, okay? Or you can put them in your hotspot section because they basically approved for you to call them by a certain date. Does that make sense? Now, you're probably asking, if this just says two days and this says two, two weeks, how do I know what actual, if everybody's going in at different times, how do I know when, what characterizes as two weeks or two days for that specific client? So, very good question if you're asking that. So what I do is I put, I purchase also with my system um, some stickers. So these are the, um, those aren't them. Okay, these are the two by four Avery 8163 or 
5163. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. <laughs> And that's what they look like. Okay, I cut them in half and then I stick the sticker at the bottom of the order form. So I'm gonna show you what I do. Okay, you see that? Now you can, there is a template that you can download um, on if you contact me and ask me if you want it, just email me and say, hey, can I get the template? I have never downloaded it. To me, it's just easier just to write it myself. But if you like things nice and neat, you can do that, um, which basically gives you a date, a time, um, and like a note section. But that's what I do. I will put what date is my my week that I'm supposed to be connecting with them for the next. See how... Um, my last connection was the 20th of December. So since I haven't gotten an order from them since, this they're actually in my to-do uh, follow-up. This is my two-month. So I'll be following up with them next month, the early next month, okay? Um, but that's how I keep track of what I did. So if I connected with them, left a voicemail on this date, I will write that date down and then I will move it to the next follow-up time, which would say the two-day follow-up was just a voicemail. So then it'll say voicemail, the date that I did it. Then I'll move it to this one, the two weeks, excuse me, the two weeks section. And then I will put the date of what that two weeks will be. So say I called them today. Today is January 18th. I would look at two weeks and that's February 1st. And so I put that date down. Now. We all know that this type of a business has to be flexible. Sometimes you don't get to it that day. It's okay. As long as you sometime during that week, you're able to get to it. So you plan to do it on the 18th, right? But if for some reason you aren't able to get to it or you know you can't, but you can do it on the 17th, then you do. So you just have to be able to be uh, committed and disciplined enough to stick to this and kind of know what you're needing to do every week. So each week, go through your two week and your two day and pull these out. I'm, I'm doing a recording. What? Someone's here. Someone's here. Oh, okay, just send her up. Okay. Um, you go through each order form and you look at the dates. Okay, this person isn't ready for follow-up. This person, oh, but this person is. So let me go ahead and call this person. So it's just very, as long as you get to it, this is how you will not let your follow-ups, your clients go too long without being followed up with. And you will make sure that you're getting consistent orders. So I hope that this helps for you. And if you have any questions, please respond to this. Email me um, at jess at jessfragrance.com. That's Jess, J-E-S-S, -S, at J-E-S-S -S And I'll be happy to answer any questions or set up a time to chat with you about this great follow-up system. But again, you're always moving these people to where they, uh, you, you're never forgetting to connect with these people. They're right here. And um, if for some reason they do not order from you on that second day, um, second month, during the second month of follow-up, then you can find out why and then move them back. Hopefully you get the order and then you're going to move them back to the two day because they just placed an order, right? So it just goes in a cycle. So thank you. And again, I hope that you um, utilize this system and connect with me if you have any questions. Bye. Have a sensational day.